Hey guys, Coupons Provide here, and today I am coming at you with a pretty massive thrift store haul. I went to Pennywise a few times this week. I went once by myself, and then once with my mom, and then I'm sure there was another time, I don't remember when, but I found a ton of goodies. The most exciting part is that everything that I'm about to show you guys, everything was a cost of, I think less than $25 or right at $25. Isn't that amazing? And yes, the answer is yes when you see what I got. It only cost me about $18 because my mom wound up paying seven because I paid for food, whatever. So I am so excited to dive right in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I used to do a lot of face-to-face -face videos, but we moved and I've been really busy and then I was showing uh, my hauls and stuff, you know, behind the camera and I was in the comments the other day and one of my friends to the channel said you know change is good and all that but they kind of missed the element of surprise and I was literally thinking the same exact thing and I was like I wonder if you know it holds people's attention because you already saw everything so you can just move on and I would think yes because you know talking about what I do with the items um, talking about the price point talking about my purchase price and then talking about or showing how I incorporate them into my house I think would be you know worth watching but there is something about seeing what someone purchased for a really great price without seeing all of it it's like you want to see bits and pieces first so it builds like a suspense right that's what I'm gonna be doing today because I really miss talking to you guys face to face I was doing a couple of vlogs and I you know jump on there or whatever when we're doing stuff but it's really hard to vlog when you're like up and moving and moving and moving and you know and it's not just like you know here there do this do that no it's like hustle get the house painted get things done get you know it's just like it's really hard to vlog in those situations so I try to throw bits and pieces together and sometimes I'm in the camera sometimes I'm not sometimes it's just scattered information and updates that being said I'm also very chatty especially when I haven't seen y'all in a bit because I really do feel like since I talk to the people that are responding to the video and giving feedback it's a conversation just I'm talking now y'all are responding later that's how it works so if you're new here and you think I'm chatty yes I am because I'm talking to friends and I like to communicate with you guys and I love when y'all share stories and respond back and all that so we are gonna dive into this haul. It is Pennywise, P-E-N-N-Y-W-I-S-E, and they are a nonprofit thrift store that, or resale center that, that supports domestic violence victims. Now, if you know my history at all, or if you watch the Woman to Woman collaboration, I shared with you guys some stuff that I went through in a previous relationship and stuff, and for me, it hits home because it formed me to be the person that I am today. Going through that, made me understand my own duty to myself to not allow anyone to make me a victim or break me down or anything like that. Never since then, I have never considered myself a victim and I don't use the word never lightly, but I do not consider myself a victim. I definitely consider myself a victor. So for me, places like that are very important and I would support them all day. I actually did a huge donation to them from all of my craft room bins and stuff like that, all my pink stuff. I donated it there and when I went, I actually saw little girls like walking around with the baskets. It was so sweet. I was like, oh, that's my stuff. But you know, I, I, never had, I never got to have a little girl. I have five boys. I never got to have a little girl. so. It was really awesome to see all those little girls walking around there with all the little pink baskets and stuff. So anyway, we're going to dive in. It's five minutes in. I'm out. If you don't know anything about me, I'm a huge book junkie. And to be honest, I swear I was a writer in a past life because there is something, there's an obsession with books that I have. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like the personality of each book, the texture, the look, the differences. It's just they're awesome. And I love to collect books. And Pennywise is one of my favorite places to get books now because they're 12 for a dollar unless they have them marked at a different price. I usually get my books from the library uh, out in Spring Branch by King Dollar because they have paperbacks for 25 cents and then hardbacks for 50 cents and then you can find all kinds of cool stuff there. So I have a huge book section of this haul. If you don't want to see this, then go ahead and fast forward because there's like a lot of books. But I'm not going to go over every single one like in detail. 
but 12 books for a dollar guys yes please so we have a study area that we built in our house and I have always wanted to have like floor-to-ceiling library like Beauty and the Beast like that kind of library like really all around the walls everywhere if I could then I would and I probably will later on in life so yeah anyway first book Nicholas Sparks the best of me I'll move quick I'll just read the titles I have several Nicholas Sparks books okay Lonesome Dove oh my gosh if you have not seen this you have to watch this it was a series back in the day it has a lot of famous actors um, in their younger years like it's really cool to see so there's that and then I have this one the light between oceans right now I am reading the notebook I have to I mean I love the movie so why not read the book right so Nicholas Sparks a walk to remember and I'm pretty sure I have some of these already because I have quite a big collection of book, books but whatever I don't have I'm actually okay with it because the post office in our area does a book trade so they have a bookshelf out in the like P.O. Box area and you can go and put books on the shelves and you can take what you want you can put what you want you know whatever as long as you're just you know giving back so that's pretty awesome all right Nicholas Sparks true believer and then I got divergent I think I might have this book already not positive I know I have the um, I have the the other one what is the other one with, with the sparrow the I can't, hunger games I know I have that one and then Allegiant it's a pretty cool cover bright red though and then I have a rose for the crown and Easter Smith check out this book it looks beautiful all right, and then I got this one. This one is gifts in a jar, bars and brownies, recipes to make your own gifts. And it looks like that, but I actually got it because look at the inside. It's super adorable. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so it's super adorable. It has the little recipe cards and then it has blank cards where you could write recipes down or like share the recipe or whatever. And it's adorable because they're all the little labels to put on the outside of your jar to give as a recipe gift. Isn't that neat? So I actually took it because I want to take all those pieces and put them in uh, to my craft stash so that I could use those there. This one is a pretty cool book, Reader's Digest. Ooh, I like this one. The cover, see it's a potpourri and fragrant crafts. So it just shows you how to play with potpourri and turn them into like crafty pretty things. Cause they even have like a little wicker basket where the potpourri, they like flip the lid and the potpourri sits in the top of the wicker basket and then they like hang some stuff out of it. It's really cute. But this, that's what it looks like and it was $24.95, that's crazy. But what I like about this one, the hard cover is the actual soft cover. Nice! Because then that way I can display it without the sleeve and I like it like that better. I, I found a $2 rack. It's a galvanized metal rack at the community yard sale that we had. I was so excited when I saw it. I was like, oh my God, I gotta have this thing. How much is it? And she's like, oh, it's $2. I was like, yes. So now I have it mounted to the side of my kitchen cabinet and I put some wood strips from an old cassette um, thing that me and the hubby cut down to make my ink pad organizer. It was a vintage cassette holder. And I put those in there just so they don't fall through and it's so cute. I love it for two bucks. This one was $40 and it's savoring Tuscany. Look at this huge book, guys, and it is beautiful. I have Italian in my family, so I'm super excited about anything Italian, to be honest. There's a lot of things that I connect with. It's really strange. I'm, I swear I've lived about 475 lives. Okay, so that's it for those books. Now let me go ahead and show you the next little stack. The next stack is more of like vintage-y, kind of retro books that I thought were really cool and I wanted to keep for, um, like breaking down in journals and stuff and or just keep on the shelves like that because I love having vintage books on my shelves okay so the first one is actually a 35th edition 1982 a guide book of United States coins and Stevan is actually really into coins like he loves coins so I got him this I actually wanted to keep it because it like looks really cool it has really cool like coin imagery in it but I know like every time we go to a store, he wants books like this. So I'm like, okay, fine, fine. I'll give it to him. It's really cute. A 
Again, all these books are twelve for a dollar. This one I had to get because it was. I was like, ah, oh, this was like around my birthday when I was born. It's Black Beauty, Anna Sewell, published in 1984. This is a gorgeous book, guys. It's like a royal blue. Check it out. And then the inside is beautiful, very well made. And then it's like foiled on the outside, and it has the little ribbon marker. And it's just Black Beauty, and it's like in awesome condition. I swear this thing is like brand new. And it has gorgeous paintings and stuff in it. I was so excited for this one. So I grabbed that. And this one is the children's classics, Robinson Crusoe. And my mom actually found this one. It's published in like 60 something, I think. 61. Yeah, 61. It was republished in 61. So that's this one. And she knows I have another children's uh, book that's a vintage book. Actually, I think I have one right here too that I'm going to show you guys. So got that one. And then this one, I have I have two other books like this. So now this makes number three, and these are published in like 1908. And I just absolutely love that. So sorry about that. The hubby had to call me and he needed some pictures of some stuff. So anyway, this one was actually published in 1908. I absolutely love having really old books. And I have three of them, or three now with this one. I also have like a 1912 publication of a book. and whatever so I just really love finding cool older books and then I have this one cooking for two and if I'm not mistaken this is a 60s print oh no this is a 1946 print so that's awesome and then this one is best in children's book 1960 publication super adorable it still has the cover really cute imagery Yeah, got that one. And then this one I thought was pretty cool. I'm torn of whether or not I want to cut it up and put it into journals or just keep it as is and display it. It's really cute. You could tell it's been taped up several times because there's so many layers of tape and there's even like layers of tape that have like eaten themselves like to the paper. Anyway, I don't even know when this was published, but I do love when they have like the perforated pages here on the sides I think that's adorable and then the top is red and there's a lot of like imagery in here it's sewing made easy so this would be really adorable for like junk journals or vintage sheets or distressing or whatever having really cool images so there's that one and look at the ladies like how cute so you got like full-size images in here I thought that was adorable okay and then I picked up some kids books. Now I know it's taking a while already to get through the books, so let's just hurry up. I found book three in the Harry Potter series. This one is The Prisoner the Prisoner Prisoner of Azkaban. Now I think we have this one already. I'm not positive. If we don't have this one, then we'll keep it. If we do, I'll put it in the library. Walt Disney Snow White. This one was published in 84, I believe. Yeah, 84. Cute. And then I found a brand new one. Moana, how adorable. The boys have watched Moana about a thousand times. And this one retails for $5, guys. Oh my goodness. This book actually retailed for $14. It's Little Bear's Jigsaw Book. Now this is adorable. There's five puzzles in here. And it's like a little story. And then it has like little puzzles to go with the story. These are actually like this image here is a full puzzle. And if you don't know, Boogie's actually really into puzzles. He loves doing puzzles he always has so I got him that he's like oh while you're reading at night mom I can be doing this in my bed because I read a story to them every night or actually we read out of whatever we pick like right now we're reading the happy Hollister's mystery of the scarecrow um, and we're in chapter one on that one we just finished another one so yeah that was another awesome thrift store find I found like 12 or 13 books out of the 24 set collection and they were um, only a dollar so I thought that was pretty cool I'm sorry if you see the movement guys I I'm, I'm on a little thing okay next one this one was actually published in 83 it's the Peter Rabbit pop-up book check out these little images oh my gosh I showed it to Boogie he just had a freaking field day with it so I can't wait to read this one to him and just have a little me and him sit down read session cute a whole collection my mom was actually getting these um 
because she just said, she's like, I can't just leave them. It's a whole freaking set. Well, I don't know if it's a whole set. Like, I don't know how many are in the set, but there's 21 books right here, guys. 21 books of the Little Animal Adventures, and these are published in uh, Italy. Check that out. It's Little little Animal Adventures. So there's like Little Bear's New Friend, A Home for Little Turtle, Little Polar Bear, Little Donkey Learns to Help, Worried Little Lamb, Go to Sleep, Little Groundhog, Be Careful Little Antelope, The Curious Little Dolphin, The Hungry Duckling, Cute, Little Squirrel's Special Nest, Silly Hedgehog, Curious Little Raccoon, Little Puppy Saves the Day, Beaver Gets Lost, Little Mouse Rescue, Kitty's Special Job, Little Kangaroo Finds His Way, very different little bee the traveling little rabbit little goats new horns and little pandas party so i am so excited to read those with them what i usually do is i read the happy hollisters chapter book and then i'll read something small right after because boogie likes to have i don't know like he likes to throw in something that he wants to read but it has to be something short because if i'm reading the chapter there's about five to six or seven pages in a chapter and it takes a little bit um Cause, you know we gotta so whatever I'll read a chapter or two every night and then I'll follow that up with something else I actually had the um, prayer book for moms and little boys or something like that and we read through that so fast like because they wanted me to keep on reading the little prayers they were so cute so now I have these books to throw with that and I have this it's so cool I don't know when this became a thing but it's non-toxic real cloth wipes clean little books and it's called so big Boogie just got a kick out of this little teddy bear in the story. He's so adorable. Check him out. So he wanted this, and I was like, you know what? That's really cool. We can throw it in there, no problem. I mean, twelve for a dollar. You can you can't say no to books, right? And then I got this one, Richard Scary's Cars and Trucks and Things That Go. A huge book. Boogie's always liked little books like this where there's things going on and he can be like, ah, look at what they're doing and look at what they're doing and look at that. And, you know, he gets a kick out of the little imagery. And then, best word book ever. Cute! Isn't that adorable? So sweet. So I got that. And then the last one that I got is Archie's 75th anniversary collection little comic book. I thought it was really cute. It'd be adorable to do like a planner spread with all of these, wouldn't it? That'd be so cute. So I got that. All right, so that is it for the books. I know that took like a lifetime, but for you book fanatics out there, or people that like to have books and see why we like books, um, that's how many I got. There's like 36 books here, that's crazy. So now we're gonna move on to the home decor finds and we are gonna start with the smallest or the cheapest pieces to the higher price pieces. So starting off, I found these two hand, like handmade little terracotta pots, really cute, for a quarter. They're different sizes. I thought they were just adorable, right? Like adorable. I have a one of those terracotta watering pails and it's lined on the inside so the water doesn't, it's glazed on the inside so the water doesn't seep through. I thought these were so cute to put with those with that watering pot. So there's that. And then I found this. It was two sets of wood napkin holder rings. There's this set. It's a little bit bigger than the other one I have. And they were 50 cents a set. How cute is that? Especially now whenever you do like tablescapes and stuff, you can mix match. It doesn't even matter because it's like using natural elements. So nothing's perfect in nature, right? So it looks adorable when you add them to different pieces. All right, so that's it for the books and for the quarter items. Now let's jump into the $1 item. Okay, so we are actually gonna start with smallest to largest here, guys. So the first $1 item I got was this gorgeous, and I mean gorgeous wire basket with this braided handle. Oh my gosh. It is not small at all. Like it's actually a pretty great sized basket. Like it's awesome. I'm so happy with this. Like it is, I am so in love with this basket. My mom's like, oh, that's a true egg basket. Like you can, you know, just like go pick up your eggs and stuff. I cannot wait until we get this house complete 
so we can start building up on our vegetation and our chickens and all of our like land sustaining or self-sustaining land stuff like oh i'm so excited so anyway we are getting chickens in the future and i think this is absolutely adorable to just grab this go catch them go get the eggs and stuff like that so anyway one dollar beautiful 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 and it is a hard metal basket it's not like I don't know this is so well made usually you know you get stuff like this it's really cute but the wire is kind of flimsy you know everything's just mass produced but this is like hardcore so so nice so I got that for a buck and then I found this one cute also this is for like picking your fruits and veggies and stuff which we will also have a garden we are going to have to do a lot of research into properly gardening because we had small plants and stuff at our other house that were semi-successful. We had grapes and stuff grow on our vine uh, recently, but we're le we had to leave it at the other house. So we are gonna do all of that out here and I'm so excited for it. Now, I didn't get this specifically for that. I'm just saying, um, this is beautiful. I love this, so gorgeous. And it's a great size, has a nice little handle on it, wood handle at the top, and it was only a buck cute so i grabbed that one as well and these you guys let me know that this is actually a steamer thing i don't know what to call it steamer pot steamer basket i don't know but i like to kind of use the bits and pieces individually because it's so beautiful you can hang this either way and i do have basket walls in my house I have quite a few spaces now where I put baskets and stuff like this is just so gorgeous up on those walls. And then you have stuff like this, which is the bottom lining. And I do believe there's another layer to this, but this was only a dollar. So you're getting two gorgeous pieces for a dollar. If you wanted to, you could add like a little uh, shelf in here and put some little decor, maybe hang like a little hanging planter. It'd be absolutely beautiful. You could even put a mirror in there if you wanted to. I love this. I just, there's, your options are limitless when it comes to stuff like this and repurposing it into other things. So you're getting two pieces for a buck. They're very well made. I actually have one up there. You can't see it, but it's actually more flimsy than this one. And this one is like really sturdy and durable and I love it. So I was so happy to see that one there for a dollar. Now, if you actually follow my Pennywise thrift store hauls, you guys know that on Thursday they do last chance Thursdays and uh, everything that they feel like they want to get rid of they price for a dollar or whatever doesn't sell i don't know how it works but they have carts throughout the whole store and it's all priced for a dollar not everything in the store but everything in the carts are a dollar and you just have to keep your eyes out because people are grabbing stuff and leaving stuff you know so you just want to pay attention to what's where and how you know how it could be moved or you know things that can get left in other places i walked in I set my eyeballs on this thing, walked up to it, it said a dollar, I snagged it, I walked around with it on my shoulder because there was no baskets, all the baskets were full and everybody was there. Um, but this was a dollar and it didn't look like it was a part of the dollar items, it was actually off to the side on a little coffee table. Look at this, one dollar guys, it is huge and no flaws, no flaws at all. For one dollar you can't tell me that if you saw this in a dollar tree or a 99 cent only store you wouldn't walk in and pick up a hundred of them you could do so many things with this I could totally see like a nice little planter in here and then set it up outside for uh, like a party setup or something and have like your forks in one and your knives in one spoons in one napkins in one or you could even line it with like cute little cotton uh, liners and then put treats in here whatever you want I mean this is so beautiful oh my gosh i absolutely love this and it's so well made for a buck like really it's the size of my body that's crazy a dollar oh so happy with it it's beautiful okay so that's it for the one dollar items oh actually no that's not it for the one dollar items check this out okay so i was in a store and i have to give the stories and stuff because i feel like talking like this is what i want to do okay my kids are over there staying occupied my husband's gone to the store when he gets back i'm gonna have to spend the entire day outside in the heat painting and scraping and sanding and caulking and doing all this other crap i don't want to do but i have to so i'm taking advantage of the moment to talk to you guys and chat with you guys and do something i enjoy doing so 
I have to tell you the story. So I was walking around Pennywise, right? And there was this one piece that was like, it was so cute, but nobody bought it and, or nobody was buying it. But every time someone would pass by it, it would like start falling. And uh, finally, like I, even I hit it once and I didn't mean to, it's just, it was in a place that, you know, you kept, you have to get through and it would like slide and it'd start falling down. And it wasn't this quiet little piece, right? And you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. So every time it would fall, it would like make this big commotion. And finally the manager was walking through and even she hit it while they were trying to move stuff. So she's like, you know what? She took out her marker, put a dollar on it, said, send it to the front. And I was like, I want it. <laughs> so I told Aiden, I was like, go grab it. So he went to go grab it and guys check it out for one freaking dollar. One dollar. Oh my gosh. It is this huge metal locker style organizer thing. This thing is huge now you see smaller ones go in Hobby Lobby or your craft stores or whatever for like $29 no this thing is massive I am so excited for it now it has a, like whatever they were using it for they just wrote it on with permanent marker and uh, I don't even care like it's beautiful and it is all metal and for a dollar yes please I was so excited. I am most likely going to be redoing this, painting it, and changing the style of it. Now this is my dilemma. I have a lot of things that I absolutely love and I love to buy them and then if I love them as is, I'll use them as is or I'll hang on to them and change them out for different seasons. And then I have stuff like this that I like to redo, change up, and keep. But something is pushing me and it has been like this since the other house. Something is pushing me to buy these items, make them over, and I get excited with them. I get in love with them, but at the same time, I wanna share them. So I swear, if I could have a thrift store, then I would love to have a thrift store. I would love to have a place where people could go and like find so many cool items and buy them and get excited about them and just talk about you know how they're gonna incorporate them into their house and it'd be like a little small community of people that just can in you know that can embrace that lifestyle and can be excited about those moments and i would have definitely have like coffee there and everybody could have their cup of coffee and they could talk about all the things they want to do and talk about the cool finds i don't know that's just like my dream and the funny thing is i feel like it's more possible now than ever because if you remember a long time ago or not a long time ago but up to recently me and when I would talk about wanting to be on land and I would talk about wanting to own land and stuff like that, I didn't think in my wildest dreams that it would actually happen anytime soon. And so to see that kind of thing happen and I, I spoke about it and I wanted it, but I never really truly believed that we could do it right now, to see it kind of just happen, I'm like, you know what? It's, it's taught me to think differently about my dreams. like. They are possible. So that being said, I would love to have a little thrift store like on the corner of the in the in the corner of the town and everybody gets to pass by and look at things and talk about things. I was writing a book and in that book the character ran a bookstore and I saw it just like that. It was like a bookstore of used books, new books and people sitting down drinking coffee and chatting and you know writers writing and stuff like that and I just it, I don't know what it is it's calling me and that's what I want so that's what I'm gonna go for in some way shape or form these items will somehow make it to somewhere like that and I'm so excited by the thought of it so this item is something that I absolutely love because I would like to redo this and sell it to someone and I don't want to do online selling. That's not my thing. That's just not what I like. I don't like doing it on the Facebook marketplace, stuff like that. I want to, I want people to see it and touch it and feel it and get excited about it. So that being said, I will be making this over. The hubby loved it. He was like, wow, for a dollar. I was like, yes, a dollar. And see, and at prices like that, you can afford to mark it up a little bit to make a little profit on it. Because mind you, I drive a Suburban. Okay. And gas is no joke. And it, I, in, in order for me to get anywhere, I got to drive like 45 minutes to an hour. So that right there in itself deserves a markup. Okay. To get it for such a great price and then resell it 
uh, once it's done and everything, already did all the work in it. Because mind yourself, if you go to a job, you expect to make what, $10 an hour? So, and that's if you're good at your job, not like half-assed, lazy, just get by and you think someone owes you $10. No, 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 no. Talking about you actually do your job and you're good at your job, $10 an hour, I think that'll work. You know what I mean? So, that being said, this is an awesome piece for a dollar. And I would love to up do something like this or upcycle something like this and then resell it somewhere. Like, that's my dream. So, got this. So excited by it and like so inspired by it. Okay, so that is it for the $1 items. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the $2 Starting items. Starting with the smallest one first. My mom found these. She really wanted to get them for Boogie. It's just a really large box of alphas or alphabet letters where you can use a dry erase marker and trace all the letters. And they give you a bunch of different little sections. Every single card is in here and you trace the letter and draw the letter or write the letter, trace the letter, then write the letter, and then you trace the Z, trace the Zs, and then they give you the different words and then the letters here. And then on the back, they also do the same thing where you can trace it and give you the word to coordinate uh, with the letters. So that was pretty awesome. And they have all the alphabet in there for two bucks. I thought it was great. And the boys do have a shoe organizer on the back of their door where I have a thousand and one different flashcards I mean, when they get bored, it is what it is. Look at a flashcard. Next, oh my gosh. So, I don't know. I don't know what it is about the Joanna Gaines commercial where she's like, eh, picnic basket, you know, and like, ever since then, I've wanted a picnic basket. And ever since then, I found picnic baskets everywhere I go. And I can't leave them. Like the ones that are complete, I'm willing to pay like maybe five bucks for it, like max. But then the ones that are incomplete, I don't wanna pay like nothing for them. So I found this one. It is so cute. It was $2. It needs to be brushed off and dusted. It's super dusty. Like whoever had this, like didn't touch it for a very long time. But look at this gorgeous picnic basket, guys. It's like a little suitcase style, adorable. And it's big and it was only two bucks. It doesn't have the lining on the inside or any of the dishes, but it does have this little pouchy here, and that's so cute. It's like elastic out of like little wood strips. That's so neat. And then they have this inner liner, inner piece here, and I thought this was absolutely adorable. I actually use this to carry the books home because I don't like to bring home plastic, like plastic bags, so I use stuff to carry stuff. And it is two handles. It's so pretty for two dollars and I actually have all my picnic baskets like stacked up in a corner over there and I have uh, and I put like plants on it and stuff so it actually serves as a decorative like corner shelf and it's like actual purpose a picnic basket this one was two dollars as well look at this ginormous baby how beautiful is this and I love that it is a different shape it is a different color and that's what I love I love to get all the different things because most likely I would reline them and resell them at a few bucks more and I think it'd be totally worth it. Especially because I've gotten a ton of gorgeous fabrics from the 99 cent only store and for unbelievable prices. So I think this is beautiful. It's a nice deep basket. Even if you put it in a corner and you put like little throw blankets in it, it's so pretty. Just so, so pretty. You don't even have to use them for what they're intended. You could use them for other things. I think it's absolutely gorgeous for two bucks. Like I waste two dollars in a dollar store on getting the kids like a snack and a drink, right? So yeah, two dollars, amazing. And the best part was that I actually had a five dollar credit. So it didn't even cost me, it didn't cost me the seven dollars that my mom paid because I used that money for food and then she just paid for my stuff at Pennywise. And then I had a five dollar discount on one of the first trips. So if my part was like eighteen dollars, it really all only cost me thirteen dollars. That is awesome. I thought that was so great. <laughs> All right, $3 item. There's only one of these. I didn't get anything else for three bucks, but check out this gorgeous ginormous size basket. It is beautiful. It's a double colored or two toned wood ba or basket piece. And it's just so beautiful. The only flaw is that this has a little thing to clip it shut. And I guess that piece broke off at some point. But, I mean, you could fix that yourself. You could put a nice little leather strap and then you could just 
put that through it and it'll keep it shut. But it is a gorgeous $3 piece and you could even use this for plant, uh, for a big plant and use it as a huge planter and then you could use this as a basket tray anywhere else. Like that is so beautiful or you could even put it on your basket wall. I absolutely love this. This is so nice. And again, you're getting two pieces for the price. Look at that. It's super huge. So I did get that one as well for $3. Moving on to the $4 items. Now, Adam is our biggest middle kid. So all of his pants that don't get worn out and crazy get passed down to brothers. He is going to middle school next year and he doesn't wear uniforms. The smaller ones in elementary do. So I found him a couple of pairs of pants and this one is an Old Navy set and the pants there are $4. And look at how beautiful and clean these pants are. They're like brand freaking new. And the thing with Adam is that he actually has a small waist, a big little butt and long legs. So it's hard for him to find something that fits him around the waist and the butt. So this, I have to get him pants like this still with the little strappy thing so he doesn't have to wear a belt and like pinch all the fabric together and it looks like really bunched up and uneven. And that's perfect for him. For $4, a, a pair of Old Navy jeans, very well made, very clean, no worn out knees or anything. It's like really, really nice. So I got him those and I also got him these and I think these are just Cherokee, that's a Walmart brand. But very clean again, oh no, these are actually for Steven. Yeah, because Aiden is, it's hard to explain. There's Boogie, Aiden, Steven, Adam. So Steven is one of the middles. And these are also very clean, really great quality. Like, like freaking new. Amazing. For four bucks. So I got those for him. And then these were the other pair for Adam. And these are Urban Pipeline. These are a Kohl's brand. Very well made again. And Urban Pipeline is actually the hubby's favorite brand of jeans that fit him very well too. Because he kind of has the same problems. Uh, smaller waist, big butt, and long full legs. So yeah, these are really, really nice for $4. I mean, check out the quality. Nothing wrong with the buttons or the zipper or anything like that. So that is great. All right, so that was it for the $4 items. Now, if you are new to my Pennywise hauls, then you don't know that for every $5 that you spend, you get a free item off of the free table. So they throw a bunch of stuff on there, maybe like incomplete sets or things that didn't sell in the dollar days or whatever, and then they put it out there for free so you can grab something from there. And it's hit or miss sometimes. Sometimes they have a lot of really cool stuff. Sometimes they have a lot of nothing, but I found some cool stuff. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so I have all my freebies in my free crate. I get these crates from a Mexican restaurant that's out by where we used to live. I still have not shared where that is because we still own that house and I want to be able to get my, my, my crates. But whenever we sell the house and I don't have to go back out there or I won't be out there uh, pretty much anymore, then I will share where this location is. That way you guys can get some. Alma knows where it's at because of course Alma's my girl and she lives by me so I wanted to share that with her. But um, I will share this on my social media for those that are local to the Katy area. Okay, so there's this. It's Old old Caramel in Rare Photographs by LS Slevin. Guys, this thing has some pretty freaking cool imagery that you could use for uh, vintage ephemera. Check this out. It is so awesome. Beautiful, beautiful images that you could use for your junk journals, for all kinds of stuff. Amazing. Free. Awesome. So I got that. And then I got these two things. My mom let me have her freebie items because there was a few things that I was keeping my eye out for. So I was telling you guys that I've been looking for the little like rectangular flat juice bottles for the kids' lunches because those were like the best um, juice bottles that you could possibly find. But one of them was messed up and they are coming back to Aldi. So I'm going to be picking some up whenever I do see them if I can if I can get my hands on them. But for the meantime, found these. Uh, these look like water canteen kind of things, but plastic. I'm going to take these and reuse them on something else. And uh, they have their own little plastic lid. So that is perfect because these will fit very well in their lunch boxes 
And then you could even put your Powerade in there, freeze it overnight, and then throw it into the lunchbox. It'd be partially thawed by lunch, and um, it'll keep the, cool, the food fresh as well. So it could dual purpose, juice and icebox. And then I found these China marking pencils. Marks almost any surface, glass, metal, plastic, cellophane, pottery, porcelain, film, photo paper, vinyl, and others. And they're just wax pencils and I thought they were super cool because you guys know I am a crafty person so I like having these things on hand and it looks like they have blue and pink super nice I don't know what these retail for but I mean they're really neat so I was excited about finding them there got that and then oh my gosh one of my favorite free finds has to be this little timer now you guys did some research for me and that was awesome and I really appreciate it you guys said that this was an egg timer and I think this is absolutely adorable. And I love that you shared your stories about your moms making uh, or using them as timers when you have to sit in time out with your brother or your sibling or whatever. I thought that was absolutely adorable. Some of you have like memories of having to watch this thing just slowly release that sand. And that is so cool. That's why I like sharing this stuff with you guys. And I love getting that feedback and hearing your stories as well. So there's that. I thought this was absolutely adorable. Totally us, like totally us. It's made out of wood and it's blue sand. It's just so cool. So I got that as well. And then I found this, just a clear vase. I went with, they had several on the table, but I went with this one because this is a very popular look for people that do succulents, like plants with succulents where you put the soil and then the white rocks and then the succulent on top. And then this one because you always need a vase to hold flowers or whatever. So I got that. And the last goodie freebie was this cute little like strawberry basket. I thought this was adorable. It is handmade. It was made in 88. And it has like even the little nails. And you can see like the rust from the little hardware. I think this is absolutely adorable. And this one says... This one says long... Longa burger baskets hand woven in the USA and it was priced for a dollar, but they had it on the free table How cool is that adorable? So like I said, I have a dream to One day own my own thrift store. That'd be awesome. Okay And you can't beat free crates so gorgeous. I actually use these crates in my dry food stockpile or anywhere. Like I love crates. So that is it for my Pennywise haul. It was a massive haul. I know. And I'm going to have to cut this down as much as I can to actually get it to a watchable time. Um, but I just really enjoy talking to you guys and I want y'all to get inspired by little things hit, you know, that I find here and there for your own self, like for yourself to get inspired to, you know, kind of get some kind of creative juices flowing or get you to try something new. Like if you never considered thrift stores or, you know, you never really understood how the process works or why someone would buy things that are used or whatever, just so you can see where we're coming from and the cool things you can get on a budget. I mean, God, it's so cute. And I do hope that you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun with you here, even in my PJs. Um, I just wanted to come on and spend some time with you all, to be honest. Like, I'm being extra needy right now. That's all I can say. So if you did enjoy this haul, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below. Share something with us about your, I don't know, I always tell you all to give me your favorite thrift store find or your favorite thrift store location or what you look for whenever you're out there. It's just something to inspire other people to go ahead and give it a chance. I got a good one. How about give us a quick little story about your favorite thrift store find that you repurposed into something else. For instance, the basket with the uh, lid, we could use this as a tray or this for a planter pot, whatever. Go ahead and share that down below. That would be awesome. And don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy videos like this. You can check out my full playlist of all the things that I do on this channel, which varies like my brain is all over the place and my channel reflects that. You can follow me on Instagram and my Facebook group at Coupons Provide. And don't forget, guys, keep coupon. Bye.